Hello, Brad Schelke here at Conversations with Mormons. Here's a surprise to whet your appetite for my style of witnessing to Mormons. Part of my evangelism to Mormons is witnessing all day most Wednesdays on the beautiful plaza outside the student center at Utah State University. Over 80% of the students there are Mormons. I set up a large table of expensive books, colorful signs, invite students to take them for free. I have a large whiteboard with Socratic questions to stir thought and invite conversation. Recently, the whiteboard topic was worthiness. A Mormon student stopped on her way to class and asked me to tell my message in 30 seconds. Here's a photo of the colorful whiteboard that day. It did most of the work. I asked her, do you want to be worthy? She said yes. Is it good to be worthy? Yes. Is it good to pretend to be worthy? No. Is God the source of all moral goodness? Yes. True or false, worthiness is a gift from God. She said true, and as she said true, her face filled with surprise. I smiled and declared to her that God loves her and sent Jesus Christ into the world to die in her place to be all the worthiness she needs. He achieved worthiness for her, and she simply needed to receive it as a gift. I told her that Satan lies to her to confuse her into thinking that she has to bring at least a little bit of worthiness to the table. I reminded her that she had told me that worthiness is a gift from God. I then asked, why not take the gift? I finished by telling her that this is the short version of what I discuss with students. All this took about 30 seconds. Why then is it important to discuss worthiness with Mormons? The Apostle Paul declares that everyone knows intuitively that those who do evil are worthy of death. Worthiness simply means to deserve something. I want to avoid death and assume other people do too. I want life, and 43 years ago I abandoned all hope in my own worthiness and trusted Jesus' death in my place as all I need for life. Now Jesus is all my worthiness, and I am free to live his life. All of Mormonism centers on seeking to achieve worthiness by good behavior. Since this is true, how did this Mormon student gain a new insight in less than 30 seconds? I didn't seek to convince her that she was wrong or her church was wrong. I simply spoke to her heart to reveal two things to her, the meaning of her relationship with God and her obsession with seeking to suppress the goodness of God written in her soul. In short, I brought her into the presence of God. This got past her insecurities and religious defenses, and as the scriptures promise, the message of God's goodness revealed to her her hidden motives. She stayed another 20 minutes, and I suspect she'll become a Christian soon if she hasn't already. This is what my conversations with Mormons is all about. Do you want to talk to the heart of Mormons and lead them to feast on God's goodness and be satisfied with Jesus Christ alone as all their life and hope and peace? Welcome to the conversation.